Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Hello Rust. Today we will look into enums and traits and how to work with them in Rust and make your code more idiomatic and more ergonomic to use. We will start with a very common task in programming which is called Hello World. But we will spice it up later on. So let's get started. So the first thing we do is creating a new cargo project and let's call it Greeter. And we can open it in our code editor. In here we find a libRS. Actually, if we just execute this libRS uh, cargo test, then we already have a running project. The only thing now we need to do is writing our own code, obviously. So let's create a new function and let's call it greet. And for now it gets no input parameters and it prints hello world. Let's print hello Rust. So when we call it, we expect this to be printed to the output. We can run it with a parameter called no capture and uh, this will simply print the output. But first we need to import it. And we see that the output is here. Well, that's not really helpful because what we really want to do is having different output based on different languages. So what we want is having some input parameter. Let's for now make it a string. And let's say we have some input parameter here also above. So this is a string parameter. Let's call it language. And based on the language, we want to print different greetings. So what we could do is in any other language, we could do if language equals equals English then we could print this and uh, we have to convert that into a string so when we run this we see hello rust here if we make a typo however let's say this then you can see that there's no output and that is kind of the reason why you might not want to use a string here for comparison. You might want to use something like an enum. So let's create an enum and let's call it language. And one of the parameters can be English. So instead of passing a string here, we pass an instance of the enum and on top we also need to change that into a language type now and um, instead of the if we can now match on this enum so it is more idiomatic we match on the language and if the language is language english then we simply print a string and what's wrong here Uh, match language with a lowercase l and we get our hello rust back it's here we can now add more languages so let's add german and let's do the same thing and let's print hello rust And if we replace that here with German, then 
we get greeted with Halvorast. Okay, so now we covered the very basic functionality of our program. And the next thing we're going to try is to make the code a little bit more idiomatic, to add some more functionality. And I just want to show you a few more tricks in Rust. We start by capturing this output here and assigning it to a variable. Um, this way we reduce some redundancy. So let's say let greeting equals the match statement and here we return a string instead then we can do a print line on the greeting and use this variable that we've defined above we need a semicolon here because this is a finished expression And the outcome is just the same. Now, it would be nice to have some kind of default for our greeting, which might be English, but then also have a way to reconfigure that and change the language on demand. And Rust doesn't have key value arguments. So the usual way to do something like this in Rust is maybe using a builder pattern. Let me show you what I mean. Instead of having a method called greet, we will have a struct called greeter and it will have one parameter called language. And the language is going to be of type language. Then we have an implementation of our greeter and commonly you have a new function that simply returns a greeter and it would simply initialize it with the default language, which might be English. So far, so good. The next thing we want to do is have a method to define a language uh, as some kind of override. So we say new uh, method and we call it uh, with language and the only parameter is going to be the language it will again return a greeter the only thing that we do here is setting the language of self to the input parameter and returning self which is really important so that we can chain methods that all do the same and what's wrong expected value found module self well we also need to pass in self and actually we need to pass in it as, as mutable so to be able to change the instance and then we will just make greet a method of our greeter so we remove this here set that here we need to pass in a self and uh, now we don't really need to match on language. You, we need to match on self.language. And yeah. Okay, so the way you use it now is instead of saying greet, you say let greeter equals greeter colon colon new and greeter greet and if we run this we see hello rust which is our expected default now you can do with language and you say language oops language german and we dynamically, oops. Um. Oops. 
language German with a capital L. And now we have a German version of it. Okay, so actually it feels a bit weird. We have this greet or greet here. It's kind of repetitive. What if we could simply use that greeter and print it? So in Rust, you can do something cool that is implementing a trade. So what we can do is implement a display trade on it. So based on the documentation, we can see that this trade has only one method called format. And the format prints our statements based on the formatter. So to implement that, we use std format. And then we have an implementation of format display for greeter. And inside this implementation, we have one method which takes a borrow of self and an f, which is a mutable fmt formatter. And it returns a result. And then we use our greet method as the format method. So I would just copy over that part into the formatter. And I can use the same greeting because I'm on self. But instead of printing it right away, I say, yeah, do it like this. I don't know if this will compile now. Actually, it does. Nice. And here we can simply print something now. And we say we print the greeter. Get rid of this greet method. We call it. And boom. Works perfectly well. Now, this is where unit tests can come in. We don't print the output right away, we capture it, and now we can assert that a certain condition uh, is valid. So we assert that when we call greeter dot, I don't know, what is called, display? That will be hello Rust. I have no idea if this will work. Display is not found. Um, yeah. No, it's not this way. It's uh, format greeter, which will do what we think it does, I guess. Okay, cool. So one test passed, nice. One other thing you usually like to do is also implement debug for your own structs. This way, if you do something like print line colon question mark and the greeter, mm, you will get some nice output some nice debug output. Because if I try to run this now, it will tell me that um, it, this trade is not implemented. You can do that manually, but the way you usually do it is you just derive it. Derive debug. Um, like, uh, I don't know. Mm. I, I always mix it up.
There we go. But now our language is not really debug. So we also need to do that. And then we're good. We get some nice debug output. So that pretty much sums it up for today. We've learned a little bit about we've learned a little bit about enums and about implementing traits for our structs. I will upload all of the code on GitHub, on github.com slash hello minus rust slash show. This is where you fi will find the code. I will also add some show notes um, where you can find various links to Twitter and so on. Um, apart from that, if you want to support the show, then you can sign up on Patreon. I also will add the link to that in the comments. Uh, I hope you had a little fun. And uh, see you next time.